Does Razer's performance mode do anything? Let's find out. All right, so just got a few benchmarks that I'm going to run through here. Not trying to make this thing terribly long. But first up, we got the Metro Exodus benchmark. And I just wanted to run this a couple of times and see where, you know, the FPS sort of fell running it through balanced mode, creator mode, and gamer mode. So I didn't run this. I didn't record the actual live gameplay just because I'm working on my laptop and I don't have any external computer and I didn't want to tank the performance. So there you go. As you can see, first one, 1080p ray tracing on. Gamer mode, 60 FPS. So it's got a little bit, three, three frames per second over balanced mode. And then we got 1080p, we did it with ray tracing off. Then we did some 4K ray tracing on, 4K ray tracing off. So that's going to be the benchmarks that you see here. And there again, with ray tracing off, you can see gamer mode does have an advantage as well. So gamer mode supposedly is supposed to put increased power to the GPU. Creator should put increased power to the CPU. And then balanced mode obviously should be balancing the power between both. So... There you go, ray tracing on. Obviously, this 2070 Max Q gets a workout, but it does have a slight advantage in gamer mode. And then after the Metro Exodus benchmarks, we'll run into uh, some Cinebench. We'll do some Blender, some BMW benchmarks, and then I'll finish just by putting up the slides for the Metro Exodus um, benchmarks if you guys want to study those a little more closely so there you go yep ray tracing on ray tracing off gamer mode still performs slightly better so does performance mode make a difference i think so so looking at all of the uh, benchmarks that we ran using balanced as the baseline zero you can see gamer mode was about 19 percent better overall and creator mode is about 16% worse overall than balance mode. So it definitely will give you a boost performance-wise in games. And then moving on here to Cinebench. Um, this one was actually pretty startling. So as you can see, looking at these, balanced on the left, gamer in the middle, and creator far to the right, that creator mode gives you a drastic increase in your CPU power. So Blender is just a great benchmark, or I'm sorry, Cinebench if... You want to test basically your CPU's multi-threaded performance, and 6717 is pretty good. So I would have to say if you got CPU-intensive workloads, throwing that creator um, performance mode on may do you a decent amount of good. So the single core scores, though, roughly the same. You know, I think 40, 50 points off, and I'm not too familiar with... Uh, R23 for Cinebench. I've been using Cinebench R20 a lot, but there's the numbers. You guys can dissect them. There's a couple other runs in there as well that you can see highlighted, but huge performance boost for creator mode. And then now into the Blender BMW benchmark. Here we go with balanced. So minute 24 for the BMW test. Not bad as a baseline. And then moving on here into gamer mode. You can see a minute 20, so again, increasing that performance to the GPU seems to have a pretty decent performance gain. You know, four seconds on a minute and a half render is not bad. And then creator mode, still gaining a second overbalanced, but three seconds slower than gamer mode. Again, now you're increasing the power to the CPU instead of the GPU, and Blender being a GPU-heavy um, you know, program, you can understand why that would be the way it is. So that's the benchmarks. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video performance mode. It works. So if you're gaming, put it on gamer. If you're doing content, put it on creator. You'll see a small benefit. So that's all I got for you guys. You can take a look at these charts, um, pause it, rewind. If you want to study them a little more in depth, but other than that, God bless.